Good afternoon. Welcome to the newest edition of the Brokers 315, providing the benefits broker with valuable information in five minutes or less. I'm Chad Granger, the regional advisor for Prime Pay's Broker Concierge Program. And today I'd like to discuss three objections to putting an FSA in place that I commonly hear, and not all of them are from the client. In fact, the first one is from the broker. And that objection is that my client's employees are blue collar and won't understand how it works. Now, I'll grant that some employees uh, require more attention uh, and education with regard to their employee benefits than others, but I think we can agree that that's the case across the board, blue collar, white collar, or what have you. Um, but the concept behind an FSA is not complicated. It's simply money the employee is already spending, um, but they can spend it on a pre-tax basis for all of their out-of-pocket expenses. Um, so it comes with a debit card, so it's easier to use. It pays at the point of service. Uh, granted, there are some services that they'll uh, be required to submit a claim and an explanation of benefits, but overall, it is understandable. And if they can use their benefits, they can also use their flexible spending account. That's simply a disservice to the blue-collar blue industries to make this assumption, and they shouldn't miss out on the advantages that an FSA can provide because some additional education may be required. The second obje objection I commonly hear from the client, and that is that they don't want to be on the hook for employees who spend all of their FSA dollars and then quit working there. Um, this is a common objection from an employer because they tend to focus on the worst case scenario. However, in reality, this doesn't happen as often as you may think. If an employer has good participation in an FSA, the benefits far outweigh the occasional situation that may result in a loss. The client has to have the big picture in view, uh, which, you know, in regard to the whole group, and that would include the federal, state, and FICA tax savings, as well as the dollars surrendered by employees who leave with money remaining in their account, which are surrendered back to the employer unless they cover the benefits. Now, the third objection commonly heard is from the employee, and this might be really two objections in one, but that is that they can't afford to put money away, nor do they want to lose it if they don't spend it. Now, most employees are going to spend money on non-reimbursed medical expenses, just no way around it, um, and they can look back at their previous year to get an idea of what they may spend on average. At the very least, they should be able to put away up to $500 uh, each year that they or that they can roll over if they don't use it. In addition to that, the employer can do a dollar-for-dollar dollar match. So it's really a low-risk proposition there, um, and they'll be covering expenses that they're going to pay out of pocket, and without an FSA, they're going to pay them on a post-tax basis. So why not get 30% more um, you know, spending power out of each dollar? So in general, almost every employer should offer a flexible spending account. The industry is moving in this direction um, with more employee out-of-pocket expenses, simply the demand for it. There's also more pressure on the employers to maintain or offer a high level of benefits while at the same time trying to control costs and the an FSA is a nice solution uh, to help with that goal. And also consider that your competitors other brokers are conversant in the pre-tax plan options, including FSAs, and are presenting them as viable options. So, you know, don't lose your hard-earned business um, because you're not comfortable with speaking about them or, um, you know, questions that may come up. Certainly find a good third-party administrator that, uh, that is a solid partner that can assist you with those. And that's it here for today. Uh, my contact information is there on the screen. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly get in touch with me. If you're in the South or in the West, uh, my associate's contact information is there as well. Um, I also would love to talk to you about our broker concierge program, about how we can help you help your clients uh, retain your book of business and expand your market share. Thanks very much for your time today. Take care.